All right, I think I'm caught up. <laughs> um, let's go. Let's see. At some point, we're gonna have to just hang out and do some uh, do some reading and resting and all that. Maybe we'll do that for the rest of the day. And we need to clear out the weariness. We are tired. We're gonna have to sleep pretty soon anyway. That way, we can sleep the night away. Do I want to try to do a night? I'd much rather do a day run on the garage. I fear... I fear the night! <laughs> With this character, anyway. I fear the night. Yeah, let's uh, let's do that. Let's just hang out here. We'll do a little bit of reading till the sun goes down. And then we'll sleep the night away. Let's... Uh, my left leg is bandaged already. Let's get a bandage on my brain. And did we get more? Uh, we got lots of hydrogen peroxide. There, that'll speed those up. Average, average, average. I like it. All right, now that that part's done, let's. Uh, what do we? What do you think? What do you think? Ooh, dodge to one, unarmed combat to one. Let's do dodge to one, unarmed combat to one, and then we'll, uh, if I don't get other books in the meantime, we'll start working on mechanics. Need to get it to seven. 77 focus. Uh, we do have an MP3 player. Let's go ahead and use it. Activate. MP3 player is on. And we'll have some, uh, ah, the butter's getting old. But I need... The butter? Do I really care? <laughs> it's not like food's ever really a problem. I guess I don't really care. Let's just have the good stuff. Oh, look at this. A Joy Max column. They changed the, uh, they changed the screen again. I assume 15 is the max, and then as you consume that particular item, it's going to put a number on the other side. So this is current. And when it drops, it'll say like 10 out of 15 or something like that. That's that's my guess. Let's find out. Let's add some potato chips. Mm, staying the same. Staying the same. All right. I'm confused. Wait, is it not eating? Oh, it did eat them. Plus, what the hell? <laughs> plus 12 for that. Plus 3 for that. Plus 6 for that. What? What? <laughs> what? Are there different flavors of potato chips than I didn't notice? I must I must investigate this potato chip mystery. Uh it's a bag. What's inside? It just says potato chips. Plain salted potato chips. Oh man, you love these chips. Bet you can't eat just one. So they are different flavors. I didn't know potato chips came in different flavors like uh, the, uh, the Pop-Tarts do. <laughs> I had no idea. Who else knew potato chips had different flavors? I was not aware. Pretty, pretty big variance too. Four times as much enjoyment out of that flavor than that flavor. That's a, that's a pretty big variance. So, we'll have a chocolate bar, some butter popcorn, a yogurt. Oh, see, there it is. I had a yogurt, and now it's got the numbers, 13 and 15. Hmm, that should cause a little less confusion, so I won't go on my rant when it tells me that, you know, the best food in the world is no longer giving me any joy. That, again, plus 20 for a pudding. Sure, have a pudding. All right, what do our numbers look like? Ah, that's right. Damn it. I always forget when I'm tired. <laughs> I peg my focus anyway. I just wasted all that. Wasted it. Total waste of time. Oh, well. Finished reading. We have theoretical knowledge. Let's theoretically knowledge ourselves. Whoa. Oh, all right, that was quick. We must have been close to leveling on that one. Oh, I see. Never mind. <laughs> uh, that one. I 
And now we have theoretical knowledge of unarmed combat. And uh, time to go for bad yeah, mechanics. Okay, we made it to 33%. How's our... Ooh, 180, 90, 107. All right, I got to transfer some stuff. Um, this will do spare parts. 160. 115, 107. All right, just want to make sure I don't accidentally drop stuff. Uh, so, ooh, moon bonus time. I forgot, day 65, moon bonus time. That might change my plans. That gives us 16 range. Hmm, very, very important to plot out your, your, your prospective moon bonus opportunities. It's a very, very powerful advantage that the player gets. And it's most important at the first time it happens, which is day 65, it starts. And uh, it's going to get bigger and bigger until like day 70, 71, and then it'll fade again. It'll be out to like 23 spaces at max on the full, complete full moon. Um, I guess it's not super time critical. We could... Uh, uh, yeah, not going to worry about it. All right, now we're going to cram down some butter. Where's that other pile? Butter 14. All right, catch up with me here. Fourteen wasn't enough. Sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty-one's usually the max. Twenty-one. Twenty-two. Twenty-two that time. Look at that. We found an extra nook or cranny to slide some raw butter into. Uh, I think we're good. I'm not going to worry about the uh, heal rates. The head is still bandaged and disinfected at full. Everything else will heal up on its own. Weariness and radiation will go away. Um, do I need my blindfold? Going to bed right as the sun goes down. Nah, we'll, we'll be fine. All right, let's go to sleep. Oh, yeah. Empty the player off. So is theoretical XP like PZ now where it boosts XP gains a skill? Yes. That's essentially what it is. So you read a book, you gain theoretical knowledge. So I read about dodging. So I have knowledge level of one in dodging. While I have that, if my practical level is below my knowledge level, then I get a bonus to actually using or practicing that skill, which will speed the, uh, the development and the learn time on the actual practical, but you have to do both now. You you can't actually gain the main benefit of the skill just by reading books. That doesn't get you anything. Um, and then actually practicing or doing the thing also raises your knowledge level some, so it's kind of uh, constantly chasing each other. But I need to actually do the things in order to get better at the things. So we won't get any dodge skill as long as I'm just running away from everything, <laughs> basically. I guess I could uh, do the old uh, basement rat dodge training thing to get us up to like four dodge, five dodge pretty easily if we find an opportunity to do so. And then uh, the, the, the vehicle stuff, we're either going to craft to get the level or we're going to work on, we're going to repair one or the other. Crafting something from the book lowers the penalty to not have the proficiency. So if you have the book with instructions and a recipe, the penalties for not being proficient are lessened. Yeah, it sounds like a good change. I haven't experienced it much yet. I, I've just basically been ignoring crafting ever since the proficiency system really went in. I just stopped doing it and I didn't really notice, <laughs> didn't really care. 
Just kept going about my business of doing stupid things in the Cataclysm. I can't remember the last survivor or anything I crafted. Okay, so we still got a little bit of rads, no problem. Uh, hit points are back almost to full. Slam down uh, another batch of butter, keep us going, keep us in the overweight category. I'm surprised the butter is still valid at all. I thought it would all be gone with my 30 day lead time. In the, uh, the world gen, but nope. Twenty-two again. <laughs> All right, so we're full. We'll uh, take care of the thirst after we get some space in our belly. And uh, decision time. All right, Vengabus, what are we gonna do? I don't have engine crane to to lift and move. Uh, storage batteries into the vehicle yet. Don't have my welding gas yet, because we still got to hit a garage. It's daylight, so I'm susceptible to getting stomped by zombies. I think we will do what I mentioned. We'll, we'll go buzz down the city here, see if we get any opportunities to check anything out. Then I'll uh, make a decision. We might just spend the day reading again, then try a night run into that garage if we can arrange it. Zombie horses against Triffids. Man, we're seeing all sorts of fun fights this time out. Zombie horses versus Triffids. Triffid dies. <laughs> okay, I would like to point out, if you look at the log carefully, this line right here. <laughs> Good to see some things never change. <laughs> it's the super ninja horse. Uh, I tell you, I need to learn horse foo. Oh, man. Somebody desperately needs to put horse foo into the game. <laughs> uh, I need me some of that action right there. Uh, zombie horses are pretty new. I don't, I've never seen a zombie horse. This is the first time I've seen them. But horses in general are just ridiculously, ridiculously overpowered and have been forever. Because... The whole movement action point system is tied together. So if you make something move really fast, you also let it hit a whole bunch. So you got the size of a horse hitting you with hooves and hitting you six times around, which I found to my hilarious detriment, I don't know, a year ago when I was on one of the farms and I was moving away from the barn and I stepped and me and a horse stepped into the same space, essentially, and I, I bumped him. <laughs> and he instantly annihilated my character with six six hoof strikes to the head. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good times. Horses are stupid. That's why you never see me tame them, ride them, or otherwise. They're, they're just dumb. But it's a consequence of, we want a fast creature. Well, did anybody notice that our movement system is tied into our action point system, is tied into how many attacks you get? <laughs> and this is a big heavy animal with uh, with hooves. So even if you only give it moderate combat stats, it's getting six attacks <laughs> per round. So yeah, it's silly. Stay away from zombie horses is what I'm telling you. Okay. Pile of zombies. We're trying to pick our distance from buildings whereupon we can get into them without drawing zombies. Fortunately, they're not cooperating. They're chasing deer. Deer and turkeys? Oh, oh, maybe. There's a lot of animals in the area that might distract that tough zombie. Yeah, let's give it a try. Wait, wait, wait. I grabbed the crowbar, right? I did grab the crowbar. Hey, an open window. Let's just go in the open window. Okay. We got a thermal electric outfit. It is unfitted. 
I have no tailoring skill to fit it. Oh, he's coming in over there, huh? Alright. Be that way. Well, that wasn't a friendly noise. That's not a great place for me to get back out and try to go to my vehicle. Um, I don't like the way these circumstances are developed. So, we are going to exit. Stage left. Black Ops Zombie. That mean a soldier body site we might find some fun stuff at? That's what it means. <laughs> uh, what do we got down there? Blobs? And soldiers with what? Standard M4, standard M4, standard M4. No M249s. An M16. Yeah, so I don't care about any of that. How many rounds do I have left? 81. I wouldn't mind blapping these guys for potential uh, light amp goggles. I'm looking for light amp goggles, infrared goggles, grenades, military ID cards. That's about it. That's all I care about. But I don't want to blap them from here. I want to pull them south and then blap, blap them. So if I can keep their attention, pull them south, we will do so. Don't hit my vehicle. Giant wolf spider. I just need long enough to blap them and then hop out, grab stuff, and then get out of there. Alright, I think it's time to start blapping. Let's throw in our... That was the rubber hose. Do I still not hear earplugs? Air makes your fear plugs out. What? <laughs> Activate them to plug them in. Alright. Activate. Make shift your plugs. There we go. Okay, blappity blap time. one hiding in the shadow now I need to loot and scoot I see you there spider shouldn't have turned your attention this way okay what do we got don't really care I'm really hoping or one of the vision enhancers, and we're not going to get any. Dang it. Wow, did we really get a whole pile of nothing? <laughs> Looking awful lot like we got a whole big pile of nothing, and I just waste a bunch of 50 cal. Look at that nonsense. Not one single grenade, not one single weapon on the guys. Wait, I think one of them dropped an M4. Oh, nope, the other one was just a little... Oh, yeah, that guy. That guy dropped an M4. Other than that, no grenades, no clothes I care about. What? One MRE? <laughs> that was that was the worst pile of schlock I've ever seen drop off of these guys. Eh, four MREs, but yeah, that was terrible. That was a that was a massive waste of ammo. Huh. Well that's unfortunate. Ah, I'm not too happy about that. Hmm, there's the four MREs. Well, fully loaded and uh, got a strap on it. I assume it's a strap. Got that thing strapped. 
You got that thing strapped. All right, sure. I guess we'll take it. Uh, <laughs> what a pile of nonsense. I want my ammo back. Wasn't worth it. Uh... Yeah, really wasn't worth it. Yeah, we did. Uh, we get to get did get a good supply of sporks. Corrosive, bloated. Uh, child zombie. A crowd to the south is gonna see me. Surprised they haven't spotted me yet. Are we in that weird, it's it's not really morning time yet, <laughs> time frame? Activate earplugs. Yeah, all right, we're not gonna get any more opportunities there. This just leads to the campsite. Don't care about that. Much. <laughs> yeah, they didn't want that tree there anyway. No RV. Shall, shall we check for archery again? Big knife, metal tongs, pants. Well, hey there, Mr. Chippy Monk. Uh, gas is draining, battery's draining, but otherwise it looks drivable. Covered this area, this area. I guess we head back to the garage and see if we can pull off the uh, pull off the raid on the garage. Hey there, disillusioned. Thanks for dropping a gift sub. We're inching closer, inching closer. I might actually have to make a, another zombie dog sub. <laughs> or zombie dog emote. I have a few ideas. I haven't actually got it made yet. <laughs> another zombie soldier over here? That would be a different body site, right? where the one guy came from. I don't think he chased down from the earlier site. Huge praying mantis. Zomborgs. Oops. Let me alone, let me alone, let me alone, let me alone, let me alone. <laughs> I don't 
want any of your cookies. Stop trying to sell them to me. Necro Boomer. Wasps. All right, we'll pick a different line to cross the Great Expanse here. Maybe find another body site if we're lucky. I miss the uh, old frequency of the big helicopter crashes that would have uh, bio-operators and all the fun stuff. The occasional Hulk. That's good times. So when we left, we had made a bit of a mess of this central area here. And a necromancer. <laughs> We're starting with a necromancer. Hiding behind a rock. Oh, I can't smush him easily. Oh, I'm going way too slow. And we got him. And I just need to smush him. All right, what else we got out here? Boomer and four other guys so far. Ideally, I just lead them away. Gas is cheap and easy. Go, go his way. <laughs> no, you're not supposed to stop. <laughs> Damn it. Uh, that is exactly not where I want you. And now he sees me. Yeah, sometimes I miss just running super melee characters like the old Lumberjack. <laughs> I miss it sometimes. Occasionally it's a little more fun just to step out of the vehicle with the axe and start cleaving skulls. I again don't think I quite got them far enough away. Where the hell are these boomers coming from? <laughs> I do lap one, boomer shows up. I do lap two, boomer shows up. I'm on the third lap, boomer shows up. <sighs> it's so annoying. Because they go boom when they, when they break. Let's, uh, let's try to kill him out here. I'm going to go to melee. We're going to give melee a try. So let's ditch the golf bag to at least help improve that part of the process. Pray we don't have to pick it back up again Vormit and skedaddle. Vormit Z-Dog? Why does he get credit? <laughs> He's just a mangy hound sitting with his nose about six inches from the fan. Uh, all right, let's give this a go. We got hit points to burn. Hurry up, fat zombie. You gonna bile me? You are gonna bile me. That's fine. Cell phone, MP3 player, joint and cocaine. He's ready to party. 
got a grab off. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> Drop 10 gift subs. We hit 150. No, not 150. All right. Hey, Bimdurian. Thanks very much. That's very generous. Appreciate that. As I'm sure do all of the, uh, the, the, the gracious recipients of your generosity. Have some, uh, have some limited edition zombie dogs and uh, one Hulk. Oh, two Hulks. There you go. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't have it ready. <laughs> so you won't get it right immediately and I can't set it up during the stream. But uh, we'll have it for Monday stream. So, look forward to seeing a new zombie dog emote on Monday. See, now what am I going to do? We're still 13 days from the end of the month. I'm going to have to move the number up a little bit. I have to come up with something uh, you guys might want to see as a, a reward for pushing it a little bit further. Maybe a picture of uh, of me farming in real life, holding a hoe and, you know, tilling the ground. <laughs> it could happen. Okay, we have successfully smited our foe. The hype train continues. Hype train is close. Sub, gift, or use bits now. I didn't need to see that part. Oh, it hasn't yet started? Even even with the uh, the multiple things? That's funny. That's kind of funny. Spider character cosplay? <laughs> there will be no cosplay. I've, I've made promises. I've, I've made promises. I've said things, and I, I'm going to have to stand by them. Hmm. <laughs> No fake drama, no no me with a shocked face staring at the camera in, in amazement. No, uh, well, what else was there? No costumes. I can't remember the list now. There, there, were, there was a list, though. <laughs> There's plenty of places you can go to if that's your kind of thing. I am not interested. <laughs> my book need? <laughs> I I do my book need every day, yes. Multiple tough zombies have decided to show up. They really, really don't want to let me into this, this facility here. I don't know what their major malfunction is. I'm tempted to try to fight them, but they didn't go well. I'd rather run them over. Ouch. <laughs> They're just not cooperating and getting in a nice, nice, polite line for me to, to smush. So there's one. Oh, slavering biter where? Right in line again. Damn it. Every single time I get closer to it, they bring out more zombies. Not good. Not good. And now even more are going to show up. <laughs> so once again, I'm going to go from one bl one uh, boomer zombie to, hey look, there's 15 zombies in the area. Why are you going back the other way? Why are you going the other way, slavering? <laughs> and boomer? Boomer number, what are we up to? Four? Five? And two other zombies and Screecher. Yeah, it just feels like this turns into an unending parade of new zombies. I never make progress. Start a fire in a nearby house. That never works. We proved that. We proved it. It's terrible, terrible strategy. Oh yeah, now we're getting, once again, we're up to five. <laughs> Every time I, I kill one, I get two new ones. Kill those two, I get three new ones. And it just keeps progressing. 
We're actually, uh, I think, starting to take damage to the vehicle. Uh, what to do, what to do. I could try to uh, gather them up and walk them off again. Hey guys, come join the party. <laughs> One of the boomers circled back. Come on guys, everybody party up. Oh, here come more ones, including another pupating. It's not a party till the pupating gets here. I just want inside one building for, for two minutes. It's all I want. And now we got a spitter zombie. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Let's lead this crowd north, I think. Problem being, once again, just the differential of speed. I can't keep the attention of all of them. So I end up with stragglers, and then I end up coming back to more zombies, and more zombies, and more zombies. These guys aren't anywhere near far enough away yet. I can't afford to honk the horn in this circumstance. What the hell is that? Is that a horse or is that that uh, the dog one? That's that dog again. Man, there's a lot of these guys rolling around. Damn Hulk dogs. All right, let's, <laughs> let's run over some more boulders. I my brain refuses to see on this tile set. Getting to the point where I'm thinking maybe it would be better to do the, the nighttime raid, even if it is dangerous. At least with the moon bonus, I, I, when I'm out in the open like this, I'll be able to see them and avoid them for the most part. So this will probably be my last roll up. If I don't think I have an opportunity right here, I think I'm just going to peel off and we'll, we'll come back in the dark. Well, there's still zombies over there, but fairly small ones. Brainless doesn't concern me, especially if he's going to roll north. We can just hug these buildings, get to the one I want without getting too much other attention. Oh, hi pupating, that's right next to me. <laughs> uh, I'm nervous about how far this run is. It's a long way from safety and there's no houses that make it easier for me to hop in and hop out of safety. Plus, the door in the back here is facing where more zombies are coming from. They broke the wall, though. That'll help me. Ah, there's zombies in here. This is the section I need to get to right back here. Is that a repair kit? What is that? There's another torch. There's the other arc welder that I need. So that and the welding tanks will help, but uh, let's see. There's a big welding tank. Now the problem's going to be being able to carry out everything that I actually want. <laughs> so... Welding and metallurgy! That's one of the important books we needed. I need the arc welder. Take the battery.
crap. Crap, crap. They found me. Uh, I've got the bag on. Lots of torso. It's going to be a small, dodgy opponent. I'm going to get bit. I'm going to get bit a lot if I don't get a lucky hit. There's no escape from this back area here. I could back up, shut the door, drop the bag, reopen the door if he hasn't busted through. I think that's what I'm going to do. I need to take this fight without the bag on. Alright, that got us down to 18. Much, much better. <laughs> Bite, 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 bite. And a boomer. Of course it's going to be somebody loud. Of course! Hope that's it. Now we need to get out of here before too much more stuff shows up. Alright, there wasn't anything too important here or here. Need that welding tank. Please, 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 please. <sighs> Did I not tell you? Did I not tell you? <laughs> Did I not tell you? This was the one. This was the one. This is the exact one I wanted. We got the engine crane along with every other item on my list. <clears throat> If I can get back to my vehicle. We're already almost 20 pounds overweight before I grab the engine crane. <laughs> oh, man. So, do I make two trips? Or do I try to lug out with a massive overweight, and then if I get caught, I get instantly annihilated? <laughs> I should take a tram at all. Get the pain, get ahead of the pain curve. So the book we got, it, we, we got, we got every single thing I needed. The book has the recipes that I needed. The uh, second arc welder was needed so I could put together the vehicle welding rig. The Engine crane is needed, so uh, just because it's always needed. That's uh, the super convenient and awesome tool for uh, being able to lift out storage batteries from all the local solar cars so that I can have infinite uh, power. So, yeah, it, it, it's, it's awesome. It's everything I needed, but <laughs> I got to figure out how to get out of here. Does it tell me how heavy this thing is? It does not. How heavy are you? Oof, way too heavy. Way too heavy. That would put me at double weight. <clears throat> I could drag it for a ways. And that way I can stop dragging it when things get on top of me. Alright, let's leave it... Pop upstairs real quick. See if there's anything upstairs worth checking out. Nope. Faster than the pupating while dragging. He doesn't seem interested in me for some reason. Oh, well, we're actually going to get this pulled off. Go away, boomers. <laughs> Go away. Get away from my vehicle. Alright, 
I think. Stop it. I think now I'm gonna carry it the rest of the way. Your body strains. That's okay. Oh my god. That was such a good run. Such a good run. Alright, so welding tank. Check. Engine crane. Check. We got, I know, a battery for the arc welder as well as the arc welder itself. Oops, there it is. Then we got the welding and metallurgy book. Also critical. Yeah, that was that was some good stuff. It finally worked. I can't believe it finally worked. Full and hydrated. I don't think there's anything else I want to go back for. Uh, there is a dojo directly across the street. Sure would be fun to get this guy a martial art. That would make me pretty damn exposed, though. They reworked the mines. Yeah, I haven't. I don't think I've been into a mine. Did I go into one of the mines since the, the top side is new? I'm trying to remember. I know I cleared at least one, but I don't remember if I went down into the mine and if they changed the underground portion after I had done that one. Okay, so do I try to go after the dojo? Let's at least go... Uh, do I dare? I don't think I dare. Let's let's not risk it. At least not right now. Let's, uh, let's get out of here. Let's actually put all of this bounty to use. Make sure we take advantage of it. Uh, we're going to head back to the east. There's that solar car right here. Um, eh, we'll, we'll stop somewhere out in the open here, get some stuff done. Uh, but we got a solar car sitting right there we can take advantage of, assuming there's nothing in the, the plant. Um, what did I mark there? That was the Zomborgs. Because I need, uh, I just need a couple of storage batteries. That'd be perfect. Alright, this looks good. Okay, oh, this is going to be fun. Well, actually, yeah, I think level 6 is 5 is high enough to do most of the stuff. Because I'll need to... Uh, well, let's find out. <laughs> let's see. We need to first check the recipes. We have vehicle welding rig. We should. We do. That should be part of the book, Welding and Metallurgy. So we have it. I just need to grab a steel frame and then craft a welding component kit. Welding component kit is there. I need a soldering iron. I believe I have one. It's just got batteries I have to unload. Yeah, right there. So, unload. Soldering iron. That'll free that up. But I need a steel frame. I could actually get one back at that garage. Or I gotta find a vehicle with a heavy frame I can rip off. There was that military cargo truck somewhere. I forget exactly where we saw that. I think it was... Was it outside the mansion? Where was that? I can't remember now. I could pull one off of the Humvee temporarily. I've done that before as well. Hmm. So, welding component kit. Uh-oh. Ah, we have no electronic skill. We have no electronic skill. I forgot about that. How's that going to affect it? I'm trying to remember how much the secondary skills actually affect it.
Hmm. That's going to slow me down a bit. Maybe. Um, and I still don't have training for that. Yeah, it's always better just to find the junkyard and rip the vehicle welding rig out of the... <laughs> or the kit out of the vehicle welding rig. Um, how do I want to go about this? Kind of figured it didn't matter at all. <laughs> hey, look, I have a welding component kit. So, vehicle welding rig, I just need the frame. As soon as we get the frame, I can get that installed, and then we just need power. Let's go for a drive. Or just take the bumper off the front of the vehicle. <laughs> Stay here. And replace the bumper later. Got the composite armor on all of the parts. Um, I could, for example, take that completely apart. Actually, these are heavy frames. I need steel frame, right? That's different. That I can get lots of places. Alright. Yeah, let's get driving. I just need to find a not... A vehicle that's uh, not solar. Well, even solar vehicles I can work with. I think I can still do this. I think the solar vehicle will give me what I need. I can take a door off and uh, it should give me a steel frame. I don't think they made the doors out of aluminum on those. For some reason I was thinking it needed a heavy frame. Hey look, there's that military cargo truck. <laughs> Little too hot here though. Run one ant over and they all get excited. Don't know, I didn't really check this. Uh, oh, there's the tax. A tax. Uh, we could just go shoot him to death, I guess. But I'd rather not, but it's going to take me time to do what I need to do. So, we should go eliminate them. Oh, they're on the way anyway. Wield, we'll hope nothing else is in the area. Um, hey buddies. <laughs> Come on. And the soldiers to the north. Well, he'll come down to visit. He yoinked it! He yoinked it! He yoinked it! You bastard! He yoinked my M4. <laughs> While I was aiming, he yoinked it again! <laughs> uh, the soldier's on his way! <laughs> uh, he might have to retreat. 
Uh, if he yoinks it again, and the soldier is in my face. Wield. Try right, one more time. Fire. All right. <laughs> That was kind of funny. And again, nothing interesting. Don't suppose you have an ID card, cash card, and a penny. Sure, I guess I'll snipe your yummies while we're doing it. <laughs> Peanut butter spread. Okay, reload out of loose rounds. Hopefully it's got the parts. Well, it's got the one storage battery. That'll get me started. So perfect condition, max capacity. Good enough. And I'm hoping if I remove a door. Yep, we get a steel frame out of the door. Give me that. It's my steel frame. It's not your steel frame. Okay, next up, grab me the uh, brain. And I need to be here, I think. Whoops. Oh, don't tell me I don't have a hacksaw. I better have a hacksaw back here. Yes. Excuse me. Did I not have it set properly? I did not have it set properly. <laughs> Come here, Hacksaw. Okay, storage battery's out. I don't think... You got no mirrors on uh, on these vehicles? I don't think I want anything else. Oops, forgot I need the engine crane still. My bad. Okay, install it right there. There we go. We have power!